Hello there, Libra. Happy February. It's like Groundhog Day over and over again. Libra, you're set for a heck of a year. This is one of those get your duck in a row month, though. Though the m months, though, English. I'm doing this in the middle of the night. I'm doing okay. Anyways, Libra, here you go. Astrologically, you're moving into the first position here. You're in the first house for most of this month, which guess what? That means that you are just large and in charge and the focus is you. This is about getting back into a routine. Maybe you're kind of shaking off the cobwebs. Maybe you're taking a look at health. Maybe you're taking a look at your priorities. Maybe you're taking a look at your financials, which by the way, you got squared away. You spent time on that last month, but here in February, all right, guys, we're going to take a look at the mind, body, spiritual path, and the heart of the matter. Here we go, Libra. Oh, Knight of Cups. You're all about the new stuff in the brain. You're going to fight your little fidgety McFidgeter. By the way, you wouldn't be a good air sign if you couldn't grow your crops. Seven of Pentacles talks about still tending to it. It's not quite there yet. You got good ideas. They're fertile. You got new ideas. You got new loves. You just gotta let it grow. Gotta let it. Gotta let it. Gotta let it get a little cuter. Got a little based a little bit. Don't pull it out too early. Nobody likes to pull out too early. All right. Your body. Go back to some basics. You know how you act. By the way, this isn't a lecture. This is just a commentary. When the high priestess comes out in the body position, it means you friggin' know better. Don't rob Peter to pay Paul. Pay Paul. By the way, take the emotions out of it. Maybe the emotions are part of how you got there. Maybe the overeating, the lack of exercise, the emotional stuff. Take that out of the equation. You'll get back to it. You'll get back to it. Oh. Practically perfect in every way here in your spiritual path. Like you can do no wrong. Probably because you don't deal in absolutes, Libra. You do see both sides of it. You don't say it's not all bad. You don't say it's not all good. Whew. Good balance for you right now. Huge balance. And by the way, you love to be in charge. This is an in-charge thing because you're like, yeah, this is a matureness of saying, that's not quite ready. Put it back in the oven. Great idea. Let it, let it ferment. Then your body's kind of like, I know better. I'll get there. It's all good. Yeah, but, oh, by the way, queen of swords, no excuses. Then practically perfect, perfect comes out of here. And then the page of swords, this is where you're letting your growth happen is spiritually. So you don't judge. You don't overthink. Page of swords comes out right here. It's just letting you know where it is. Uh-oh, have you gotten bit by the love bug there, Libra? Queen of Cups. Knowing that she's really smart. The Joker's really the only fool. But you have a new way of looking at things, don't you? Whew. By the way, right here in the heart, you got the water symbol. And then pay attention. If you watch the tarot, maybe at the heart of it all, it's a Pisces. February is a good month for you. You're going to sit back and relax. But this is another way of looking at things for yourself. This is a good, I mean, this is this is Neptune showing up. This is hopes and dreams. Your heart's a flutter, ain't it there, Libra? I can't make up the cards. All I can do is read them. All right, let's see what the Guild of Terror has to answer in all of this. Huh. More pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles comes out here in your mind position. Again, we we seem to kind of have this dance with you here, Libra. You take out some emotion, and all of a sudden you set it right. Always at work, Libra. You guys, Libras work pretty hard. They really do. They work hard on that balance. So the Seven of Pentacles comes out here. I think what this is really talking about here. This is about you having balanced energy. You're being smart enough to not pick it before it needs to. You got two sevens of pentacles here. You want to, you, even when you go through the routine and you're like, yeah, well, what about this? But I love it. Wow. So you have the maturity going from masculine a little bit, like, ah, hey, I'm going to be charmer. 
to the feminine of like practicality, but both times you're saying to yourself, can you let it grow a little more? Did you like my Juno reference before when I said, let it get a little cuter? Tell me I'm not the only one that knows that. First Empress of the day sitting here up here in the body. That's a temple. Come on, you're going to get back to basics. There's something about self-care for you this month. And again, don't forget. Don't forget being in the first house. You got to make it about you. And then you get the, oh, got the Knight of Cups in reverse. Maybe the physical stuff isn't for you right now. Maybe it really is chilling out. Maybe it's not about saying, I want to go climb a mountain. I'm going to climb a mountain. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. No, 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 no. Take a deep breath there, Mortimer. Take a chill pill. All right, let's take a look here over at your spiritual path. Again, I think it's great that you're, you're practically perfect. But you got a new idea, a little reckless. And then, oh, the Ace of Swords comes out. This is you. Like, you might get a great idea, and then you're going to cut it down to size. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Because you are all about the practicality. You really are. Because then the emperor comes out. Oh, my gosh, your practicality is killing me. Your ability to look at the duality of this moment is really, really impressive. You know, the emperor comes out here. Earth energy, you go earth, air, air, earth. So you're trying to be practical. You're trying to maneuver through this in the most logical way possible. Of course you are, Libra. I mean, listen, everybody knows you're a good time. You are a good time. But this is one of those months where you're like, it's me first. It's not everybody else. All right, let's take a look at the center square where you got the king, queen of cups and the hangman. You've got a different way of looking at love, oh, but you'll be in balance. Hi, I'll take the Libra card for 200, Alex. Look at this. The justice card comes out. Who's in balance? Who's in balance? And then the king of cups comes in. Who's who's making your arco bitter bat there, Libra? What passion of yours is coming to fruition? What is the idea that you're like, I'm going to fall in love with myself again? Because that's kind of what you're doing right here. It's really impressive, actually. Gosh, I wish everybody could have a month like this, but it's not always in the stars. It is for you, because this is a very important month of yours. All right, guys, we're going to take a look at the Chip Richards. Secret language of animals. You'll find the link below. Again, I'm, I'm sort of trying to sell it. If you get it, great. If you don't, not a big deal. I make a buck and a half on it, if I'm lucky. But I'm going to give you the Falcon card here. Hey, Libra, how about a little Falcon energy? How about some focus? Hello, are we not talking about the first house? It's about action, purpose, and aspirations. You make my dreams come true. Do, 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 do. You're looking in the mirror when you say that. Self-reliant as always. You're getting through the muddle and you're getting it done. Libra, I'm proud of you. Nice work. Go have a great February. You deserve it. I can give you the heart tap. Remind you that we love and care for one another. Let's simply keep going. See you soon. Like I said, I kind of like that tagline. I'm going to keep it. Go have a great February. You deserve it.